My name is Qasim bin Mahmood. I work as the head of infrastructure at parkage.com. We are a one-stop shop for all things cars. My responsibilities include the website is accessible to the millions of users in Pakistan. Parkwheels uh, is Pakistan's largest online uh, automotive platform and we serve about 60% of Pakistan's internet using population. We have everything related to cars that includes listing for used cars, forums for discussions and automotive news. We have about 30 million visitors every year, uh, about a billion views and we serve uh, 5,000 requests per minute. Our main challenges on a day-to-day -day basis are to make sure a user gets his intent served. My responsibility is to make sure that the site performs well, it stays up, and the user experience is consistent across the board. The limitations were that we couldn't scale on demand. So let's say we have a traffic spike, we wouldn't be able to handle that. With AWS, uh, that is no longer a problem. Uh, our, our environment auto scales and handles whatever we throw at it. Every outage means that we lose a certain amount of business. So in order to avoid that loss of business, we decided to move toward AWS. When we made the decision to move towards a cloud service, we chose AWS because A, the, the reliability offered by AWS is unparalleled, and B, they are in the business for so long that they have a solution for everything. Currently we're using Amazon RDS, EC2, S3, and AWS Lambda. We're using Amazon Web Services to host our backend, our image processing, and storage workloads. By migrating to Amazon Web Services, we've managed to achieve a 99.9% .9 uptime, which is a great result that we have never managed to achieve in the data center environment. The best thing about Amazon Web Services is their support team. So no matter what your problem is, no matter what your edge case is, they always managed to come up with a solution. Previously, at peak load times, our image processing took about 15 minutes. With Amazon Web Services, we've managed to reduce it to about 60 seconds. So we are now doing image processing at runtime. From an end user perspective, we've managed to deliver a 99.9% .9 uptime and a reduction in image processing from 15 minutes to 600 milliseconds, which is phenomenal and we couldn't be happier about it. With infrastructure figured out, we can focus on delivering new features like we're exploring big data these days, we are exploring image processing these days. These solutions have been made possible because we no longer have to worry about our infrastructure. We have our infrastructure completely figured out. This is all thanks to the amazing team at Amazon Web Services.